To return to your inner peace in just three minutes is an empowering practice to have when you're consumed by stress, fear or emotional pain. I will share with you this empowering yet really easy practice that I have used many times over the last years when I was emotionally stressed or in fear and my mind was going round in circles to help myself to calm down, reconnect with my heart and find my inner peace again. And I will share with you the massive impact it has when you use this practice on a regular basis. When you don't know this practice, the events around you will dictate how you feel and you keep on going around in the same mental cycle. It is hard to get out of anxiety if you're not helping yourself. Everything is moving so fast these days, hence stress builds up fast and seems to follow us everywhere. From being stuck in traffic jams, to overflowing inboxes and social media notifications, to too many demands at work and the constant juggling between work and life situations. Life becomes easier when you're willing to take back the reins, when you sit in the driver's seat again and steer your life with more awareness. Life is meant to flow with ease and with joy, but we have made it too stressful with our minds because we are so often coming from fear, which is then hindering us to actually experiencing the ease and the flow that is actually present for us. That means also that we can choose to return to the inner state of peace whenever we want to. And this is what I want to help you with in this video. In a minute, I will share with you how you can help your body to return to its natural state of being with this very simple process. When feeling stressed, it often feels like that we've been pulled out of our own inner strength. We are kind of victims to the circumstances and we don't know how to take back our control. Anxious thoughts, ongoing worrying, the feeling of being overwhelmed and fear of not being able to cope. There is also the physical reactions happening inside of our body. Our muscles tense up, our breathing becomes shallow and our heart rate may rise. These aren't just symptoms. They are the body's way of responding to the stress, preparing us to face a challenge that is often not really there in that moment. So we need to tell our body that there isn't a real danger right now, so that it doesn't need to go into this fight and flight mode. It can actually slow down. So it's up to us what the body will do. And that is where this powerful practice is coming in handy. We have the power to reverse the body's stress responses and calm the storm by choosing to breathe slower. It's very simple, as I said. <laughs> Think of your breath as the remote control with a relax button. When we breathe deeply and rhythmically, we activate our parasympathetic nervous system, the part that promotes rest and digestion. Breathing slowly is a signal to our body that tells it, hey, we are okay, we can relax, we are safe, all is good. This neat little trick is allowing our body to actually calm down and get out of the fight and flight response so that we can actually find our own strength and inner peace again. When we are breathing in, our heart rate goes up. And when we are breathing out, our heart rate goes down. And here's the fascinating part. 
This fact can be harnessed when we choose to breathe in a certain rhythmical way. Fast, shallow breathing is signaling to the brain that we are in stress. And so the heart rate goes up. Deep, long breathing, especially long exhaling, is calming us down in a very short time and enhances our, our overall well-being. And so all we need to do is breathing with more intention and with more presence. In this case of feeling stressed or emotionally upset, we need to choose to breathe out longer than we're breathing in. It's all about using a certain pattern and a certain rhythm of breathing. In a moment, I am going to guide you through a breathing exercise that's designed to maximize this exact effect. Whenever you're feeling stressed, anxious, or in an emotional turmoil, start breathing slower by counting to four when you're breathing in. Hold a second and then breathing out, counting to six. So making the exhalation longer. Are you up for it? Then make yourself comfortable and I will guide you for a few minutes to help you relax instantly, just using three to five minutes right now, so you can experience what it is like and how powerful this method really is. Okay, so let's begin by closing your eyes. And I will start counting and you just follow along. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale.
Can you feel the difference? Let me know in the comments and if this was helpful, please give me a like and subscribe and share with your friends so more people can exercise this powerful practice. You can almost instantly get yourself from a stressed state to a calm state by doing this powerful breathing practice, right? And the great thing is nobody really knows what you're doing. So you could, for instance, be in a company meeting or maybe you're in a situation where all eyes are on you and you find that a bit stressful. Or maybe you're about to do something that usually scares you. Just by breathing one or two deep, slow breaths like this will help your body to slow down. And now, as promised, I want to let you know what will happen if you do this practice on a regular basis. To start with, we all know how well our bodies respond to more peace and calm, how much easier it becomes to heal itself and regulate any system that might have been out of sync. You're also going to have more inner strength, mentally and emotionally. You simply don't react as much. You can stay calm for longer. You're less bothered by the outer world and your family will notice that. You will keep your stress levels in check and eventually you will not get stressed anymore. And lastly, you will learn to become more present to this now moment, to your breathing. And by doing that, to your true self, the infinite being you truly are. And that means you're going to move out of your mind a lot more often and you're going to be present in this now moment. And just that alone is mighty powerful. So make this breathing exercise a part of your daily wellness program. And if you want to learn more about how to keep your mouth shut when you've been triggered and feeling hurt, then watch this video here that's coming up next. Until next time, have a good day.